Hey everyone, Ken Angst, Hope Prop is MV, the Angst Real Estate team. Hey, uh, we're back here with Jane more and more of Allstate. How you doing today, Jane? Good to see you. Uh, we're doing a little series here with Jane on uh, insurance. Mm -hmm. And last week, we kind of talked about townhomes and condos. So if you want to uh, take a look at what we discussed last week about that, you can kind of click on the link below. But this week, Jane, what I'd like to talk about is the importance of renter's insurance. And not only from the aspect of a tenant, but if you're a landlord. So let's first start about talking about a tenant policy and what, what does that cover and why you should get it. Yeah. So if you're um, going to be renting a home, say, it's very important that you purchase some renter's insurance for yourself because the person that owns the home, they're going to have a policy called the landlord's policy that's protecting the structure for them and their own liability and also maybe just very minimal um, personal property coverage for them that maybe serves the property. But for you as a tenant, you need to get renter's insurance because that's going to cover your personal belongings, so your contents, your right. furniture and everything. It's also going to provide you with some liability coverage and protection as well. And this is really important. Um, let's say, for example, you had a dog and that dog bit somebody or bit the neighbor. They're going to come back to you, basically. And so that's why having your own renter's insurance with that liability protection would protect you protect you against any type of lawsuit um, okay. that could happen, any incident. So, so from the tenant side, it's important to have side, for your yes. belongings and some liability. And some liability coverage. Um, and also a little bit of guest medical, too. So if you did have a friend or relative come in to visit, okay. that also that. Could, will protect you against that as Okay, well. and then one of the things that we've been talking about, um, you know, I'm a landlord. One of the things that we make all of our tenants do is get a policy and make yeah. sure that we actually get noticed when it's uh, when it's come due, and I'm not yes. sure what call what that what what is yeah. that called? It's so you could be listed. Um, so you could be listed as an inter interested party okay. on actually your tenant. So from the landlord perspective, I do have a lot of customers that when they do uh, rent out, they do actually require their tenants to have renters insurance, and they will um, sometimes ask to be listed on that policy as an interested party. Okay. And then they would get notification anytime maybe there was a cancellation okay. on that policy, yes. if the policy was canceled, they would get notified. Okay, great. So. Yeah, because one of the big things we see is if you're a landlord, you want to protect liability. So a lot yes. of the liability can be shifted to a tenant policy, correct? I mean, I want to state I'm not a lawyer, but the, yes. the, the idea behind that is that you have a policy a liability for your tenant first, then you have your own separate liability. Yeah, exactly. So when you purchase a landlord policy, you obviously would have, uh, it does come with um, liability protection for you as the landlord. And um, just you, you could also purchase as well what we call a personal umbrella policy that would Great. give you an additional, um, say, blanket coverage of a million dollars in excess right. of that underlying policy. So it does give you that extra protection. But as a landlord, and th there is more exposure, there is more risk because you don't live in that home. Right. So be because you're trusting to have a tenant in there, you don't know. it is good to have that extra layer of and protection. And then one of the biggest things too is a landlord and a tenant is if there is something that happens, a fire or a flood, mm -hmm. um, the biggest mistake that people think are that that someone's going to cover their stuff. And yeah. if you don't have a tenant policy, exactly. um, the landlord's not going to cover your stuff. So they're, they're not. That's exactly right, Ken. So yes, the landlord... They're covered with their structure, but for the contents, as a tenant, you've moved in your furniture, you've got your clothing, you've got your electronics, it's just dishes. If you had, if there was a fire there and you had to go out and replace all your stuff, if you didn't have any um, insurance for that, that's a lot you're going to come out of right. pocket. And so, for you could purchase renters insurance Pretty very cheap, inexpensive, it? so cheap you can get it from it as cheap as twelve anywhere from 12 to $20 a month, good and depending coverage. on how much coverage, but so inexpensive, of such good value, and well worth having to Great. protect your stuff. Well, thanks for coming in, one You're of welcome. our uh, favorite guests. I appreciate <laughs> it. Um, if you have any other questions about your insurance needs, uh, feel free. She's one of our preferred providers uh, from the Angst Real Estate team, and we'll put your information on there. Yeah, great. Until next week, uh, thanks for tuning in, and if you like the information on our channel, please subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.